Today we're going to show you how to install our new supercharger to your HPI Baja. Hey, it's Bob with RB Innovations and today we're going to take you step by step through our installation. These are the parts that are inside of our supercharger system. As well, you can find tools and accessories on our website. The first step you want to do is remove the engine, take off the carburetor, clutch and clutch plate. This is our clutch housing that's going to go onto the engine. You want to install that just the way the old one came off. Lock the screws down with the Loctite. Next you want to take the drive belt and you want to stretch it just slightly to about 6 inches. Work your way all the way around the diameter. Then install it onto the new clutch plate. Slip the belt up through the clutch housing and drop the clutch plate down onto the crankshaft. Then you want to lock down the clutch plate using the stock screw and Loctite. Next you want to reinstall the clutch. Next you want to reinstall the engine chassis mount. Next you want to take the supercharger, remove all six screws, and remove the rear cover. An optional upgrade for the supercharger are overdrive pulleys. We sell them in a set of three. At this step, it's the perfect time to install the overdrive pulley to the supercharger. First thing you want to do is remove the screw from the supercharger. Next you want to install a sharp tool in the center shaft. That's going to lock the shaft tight so you can take the screw out of the center drive pulley. You want to remove the pulley and the shim washer that's behind it. One critical thing you never want to do is remove the shaft from the impeller. Those are dynamically balanced and you don't want to remove that. Next thing you want to reinstall the shim washer and then install the overdrive pulley you wish to use. Then you'll want to apply Loctite and then retighten that screw again using that shaft locking tool. Lastly you want to reinstall that screw using Loctite. Now you're ready to finish the install. The next thing you want to do is install the idler pulleys. You want to use Loctite and lock those down. Next thing you want to do is install the gasket that goes between the supercharger and the engine. Drop it onto the engine and lock down the screws, again using Loctite. The next thing you want to do is install the belt to the supercharger. And again, you want to use that special tool. You can stretch it around the overdrive pulley first and then come back and snap it onto the idler pulleys. And you can find a link to this tool in the description. The next thing you want to do is spin the system over, make sure everything spins freely. The next thing we've got to do is modify the engine top cover to accept the guard. After that's modified, you want to lock the guard down using the two screws and again, Loctite. The next thing we want to do is decide on what kind of air filter we're going to use. This way we can determine what size screw we need to go into the back half of the housing. You want to install the screws to the air filter you want to use. Put the new gasket on, slide on your carburetor and your new gasket. Next you want to install the carburetor assembly right to the back half of the housing. And here's where you want to check to make sure the screws are not protruding into the area of the impeller. If they are, they need to be trimmed off. Next thing you want to do is check and make sure the o-rings are in place. You've got the small vacuum o-ring as well as the o-ring that goes all the way around the system. You want to reinstall the back cover using those six screws as well as Loctite. You want to finish installing the air filter assembly. The next thing we want to do is modify the linkage assembly for the Baja. As you can see in the kit we give you the linkage extension and that goes in place of the stock part that's on your linkage rod. Next we want to go ahead and install the engine to the chassis. We want to reinstall all the hardware. The only modification you have to do to the chassis is you do have to cut out the X brace and the roll bar. So by installing the supercharger, there's no other modifications besides that roll cage that you need to modify or do anything to on the vehicle or the engine. Everything drops right back in place. Reassembling the entire chassis with the supercharger is all the same except for the linkage. You're going to slide that right behind the belt drive system, thread it through the brake arm, 
The next thing you have to do is turn on your radio and double check your throttle position and your brakes are set accordingly. Now all you have to do is reinstall the hardware to hold the engine and the chassis back together. For more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.